series we're starting out with replacing the battery on our old forklift because it's just it's it's there when we got this donated years ago it was already at the end of its industrial service life which is they have to be able to run six hours and when we got it she's good for about two we ran it into the ground giving it more love and care and attention than it would ever get in industry and they just simply wear out over time our battery got so bad that we built a life support system for it and that got us another year. Right now it's at a point where she's good for about two to five minutes. Thankfully, our awesome friends at Cisco have donated this. This is the new hotness. This is our beautiful brand new forklift battery that's about to go into there. So today's video is going to be how they change a forklift battery. This is just straight up cool because this weighs about 4,000 pounds. This weighs about the same as your car, probably closer to a minivan. It's a whole lot of gravity packed in a little tiny box. It's filled with lead. It's filled with acid. And it wants to kill you in about 10,000 different ways the minute you don't respect it. You guys have spent years watching me play with high voltage, high energy physics, all kinds of stuff like that. These are the only thing in the building that scare me because there's so many things here that are just made of anger. So today we're going to hang out with our really cool friends from Cisco and Forklifts of Michigan and they're here to put that battery in there and take this one off to be tested and recycled. So I got a question for you. I've wondered this for years. This hook here. Now this is what I think and tell me if I'm wrong. I think this hook, which I've seen on pretty much every forklift, is designed to lift this carriage like, or lock it off for working on it for safety or something like that. This is not an anchor point for something like this or yep. stuff like that. This, is, this isn't a tow point to pull stuff back with. Not even. This is only for the carriage. A lot of people use a little backrest for tow point. It's not a tow point. <laughs> this is just designed to be this a safety This is just thing. for just when you have a pallet and you have, you have a boxes. Okay. You tilt back. It's it keeps it from falling forward. Okay. Boxes from getting the, getting the driver, but yeah, not, not, not a tow, a tow point. point. Not, not a tow point. point. Not is there anything up here that is a suitable tow point? Like if you got to pull something back. you got to pull something back and then you can go around your forks. Make sure they're not. See this little cutout right here? This is how you actually pull your forks off. So you have to have the forks away make from sure the cutout. Make sure you're not in that. Because if you're in there, the, the fork like, will tip out. Fork will tip out. It'll okay. drop on the ground. Okay. <laughs> cool. I've been wondering about that for a long time. Yeah, never, that's one just, of those things you never think about when the forklift guys here. Okay. Mechanics make it easier. All right, so this is your basically a little crane adapter for your adapter plate. And now we're going to grab this? Yep, I'm going to lift it up a little bit more here. Okay. We've been looking to get one of the slide on boom crane adapters. Mm -hmm. Thing with that is anything you put on here lessens your forklift's ability to lift. A lot, so because you're hanging you way on, out. Exactly. Yeah. But the more you put on here, like like even these size shifts, that takes away from the overall Because that has capacity. weight. Okay. Exactly. Everything takes away from the capacity. Oh, well, that's swivels and everything. So, that's why I like that. So, <laughs> All right, so the first thing we got to grab that battery. Pull that battery out. Okay. <laughs> Now the cables are all disconnected and everything's ready. Come on in. Okay. 
That's good. Okay, what's easiest to do? Inside out? Or you outside can, in? Nope, you can hook this one up. Okay. And then pull down on that side to keep this. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm with you. And then you can work it two places at one time. All right. You got it? It's a whole lot of weight. God. out of this down in here because I never get to see the forklift empty. And that's just a good thing to have for That actually notes. is pretty clean. This is, this is your idea these, pretty clean? You get a lot of battery acid. That yeah, I see there's out. a lot of the, the oxide stuff. There. Yeah, it'll, it'll corrode that out pretty bad. So a lot of companies miss that. Alright. Everything ready on your end? Yep. Yep, we're good. It's all you. They even put a fresh coat of paint on it. Alright, so which way does that have to go in here? Does it have to orient a certain way? Well, it's basically wherever the cables, I mean it can go either way, just to make sure the cable. Okay, I just I, I didn't know if like you want the terminals on the back or on the front or anything like that. This is our plug-in point right here, so check. I mean, you know, because you're plugging. Yeah, we're gonna be out side. here. Yep. But they made these long enough to where we can have them go on either side. Okay. So the battery so, doesn't care. Battery doesn't care. Some of them, you really gotta look and make sure you put them in right, because they only go on one side. Okay. This one. But this one, this one's easy. good. And then we put this right where it goes through the metal. Yes. It's a, yep. just it'll, a it'll go through this loop right protector. here. And it goes through right here. Okay. Yep. And that's what this is right here. It's to just to sure. protect against abrasion. It's a little rough there. Okay, cool. Let's slip it in. Keep it low and don't give me too much swinging and we're set. All right, you're going to have to... That's good. Plenty high. You have to come right a little bit. More. Uh, we're good on my side. It's sliding in. Just kissing it. Oh, messed up your paint. This is a good tight fit. This is perfect. This is so much better than the old one. Keep coming. About two inches. One inch. Stop. You're good. Let me make sure we're sitting okay on the other side. You could actually come in a little more if you want. Up to you. Yeah, let's come in about another inch, three quarter. Come to me just a hair. Beautiful. Set it right there. That's lovely. Stand by. It's all you. Now this is already charged and conditioned and already massaged. Go. It's had a hot oil treatment. Maybe a little rub down. So I can just plug this right in now, can I? Yep. All right. I'm gonna make sure everything's the way it wants to be. The plug fits perfectly. We don't need the old cribbing don't lumber anymore. anymore. Make sure all of this is laying down nice so nothing, so nothing touches when you drop it because it's a lot of electricity. And the forklift says, 
we have a full charge, oh my god. And then it goes down too. So we have eight bars, which is awesome. And, oh, it's snappy. This is way more better. That's beautiful, sir. Everything so works just. Oh. <laughs> oh, totally. We'll be in the parking lot spinning donuts with this. It'll be awesome. So now this goes off on your truck and yep. goes off to the farm. So this, is, this goes out. And they have a big scrap pile for these and they recycle all their old batteries. Cool. So what they do is they drain the acid out and then they have a company that comes, grabs all the old batteries, brings them to the recycling place, and, and they neat. take the big dirt nap. Thank you, sir. We appreciate sure. your time. This is no awesome. Problem. This is absolutely rock star. We have a forklift that works, and now we have 50 tons of schmoo that can get moved out of the building. <laughs> we've, we've been all backed up with stuff. And we get to get some cool shots of your really nifty trailer. Brand Chris, new. That's made bought it for me. I'll open the door for you. All right, I'm going to set it on this pallet a second. Okay. I want to thank Bruce and Cisco who have been hugely supportive of the Geek Group and have been sponsoring us on this whole project. And you're going to see a lot more videos coming out in this series on everything you ever want to know about forklift batteries and how to take care of them. You guys have fun. I'm Chris. That's Bruce. And as always, we'll see you next time. Thanks.